Hey, what's up guys? This is Ryan with Hess PCC, solar panel cleaning contractors and company owner of Ocean Grown Panel. So today we're going to take a dive into my van setup and why I think it's beneficial to have something that is efficient, organized, and professional. With that said, the services I offer is solar panel cleaning, window cleaning, bird control, and holiday lighting. So for the most part, 75 to 80% minus supplies I can have in the van and work for all of them. You'll notice that I am a zip tie freak. So everything in there, or not everything, but a lot of the stuff is just held by zip ties and common household things you might find at Home Depot. I've done everything in house. So anything that's in the van, Aside from mechanical issues, I've done by myself in my garage. Anything from installing the ladder rack to putting everything inside it or whatever it might be was all done by me. So that goes to show you that it can be done I mean, with the proper tools and some stuff that you might need to get it done. Okay, so my two main reasons why I chose a van. The first, obviously, is security. I think that the world we live in, well, it's always been that case for the most part, and it's dependent on what area you're in. You're gonna run into that issue, but I believe in out of sight, out of mind. So if we can keep everything indoors or inside the van, that just might eliminate any ideas that might brew up from someone. The second reason would be the weather factors. You know, I know most of the equipment we use is all weather, you know, weather built. But if we can keep it inside, maintained, keep it a little more uh, long lasting down the line, then why not? So those are my two main reasons why I chose the van. Now, while we're outside, we can kind of just step into obviously the stuff that's on the exterior. So I just got a basic ladder rack up here. There's nothing too extreme about it. But what I did is, going back to security, you want to, I mean, in my eyes, I want to keep everything locked up as much as I can, even if it's a ladder, because this stuff stays on my car for the majority of the time. I'm, well, it's going to stay on my car unless I'm using it. So I'm going to lock it up. And I just put a hole through the ladder and drilled through the rack. And now I have a lock on top of the ratchet strap that I used to hold it down. All right. Now, the next big thing for this vehicle would be to wrap it. I just have the common stuff that I did for 40, 50 bucks, I think, in stickers. But it could be a lot better in that sense. Now, there's a couple different ways you can do the conduit, but this is six inch PVC pipe with six inch brackets. And again, nothing real fancy right here, except that it holds all my holds, all my poles. Now, another thing that most people do is they'll do the threaded portion of the cap. And I can still do that, but right now I have it with a lock too. It's hard with one hand for sure. There. But I have all my poles, my window poles, my solar panel poles. All right, so that is the exit. So we'll start with the driver's side of the van. And as we move along, you're going to notice that everything has a place. And that's just because you want to be able to find it, obviously, in a fast, efficient manner. It doesn't even need to be fast. You just want to be efficient. So as long as you can come back knowing that that stuff is going to be there, then that's how it should be each and every time. Sometimes at the latest, you know, we'll be doing it after we get back from a site. But if we're moving site to site, then it's not easy doing everything from site to site when you have it all, you know, unorganized. So we can start right here. We have all of our harness gear, well, most of it. Pouch of all of our um, lanyards, etc. We got our ladder straps, C-clamps, we got our harness. And that just hangs with the little piece of metal that I bent. 
nothing fancy just built it into the rack this was open faced between the driver and the passenger seat and here that was something i purchased online so i added that then you have these going with my zip ties they're from home depot and they're your just basic husky holders again just zip ties to the rack nothing fancy nothing professional except that it is very organized and holds most of the smaller things that i need sea foam uh, pads whatever it might be most of the time i do a lot of interior window jobs so i have my booties a lot of people think that's very um you know a nice addition to have or that's already mandatory most of the time if you're doing it in, uh, indoors but people do get a kick and enjoy that bird clips etc now coming down here you can see there's a couple of things that are just they're not secured but they have whether it's little brackets that just keep it holding and i never have a problem with this flipping over so this can come out this just has a bracket and that keeps this in line this has my vacuum my extra resin if i'm not doing that in between at the house and then miscellaneous tools and everything my cooler gotta have the cooler you know and we keep that stocked up with water and ice that's easily accessible again not with one hand but that doesn't move that also has this whole piece of angle iron well aluminum iron aluminum angle that holds these in line okay this is about the only thing that does not have a place right now is my new sign well it's probably the newest thing in here i need to figure that out you know this kind of sits right here and it does move around screen cleaner couple little brackets down here with the bungee cord that keeps it all right so on to the back where the magic happens Boom. so again everything i did in house kind of start to the left got a little piece of aluminum angle that we put a couple self tappers in you know i don't really try to put a bunch of holes but i know this is going to stay here and it's not gonna be changed whatsoever so controller for my rotary brush my window cleaning setup another just tool belt with um, additional stuff in there this is my little cool husky bag that i use for bird proofing so i'll use that and just try to this is really all that's going up aside from the proofing tool belt or i mean uh, tape measure a couple zip ties um i actually got a little more tools in there from just fixing something last but tin snips and dikes but that's really about it and then clips obviously so another piece of metal strap you know these are just most of them are simpson ties so that's holding my main 100 feet of 516s hose so i just pop it off boom you know uh, the whole goal is again just to make everything efficient another friend of mine is magnetic tools holders you know those you can put anywhere and work out to be pretty good just for little trays got our telescopic ladders that i use um i can include the link on these these are extending climb I only recommend these and obviously look at the the qual or the ladder specifications and if they meet the standards you're looking for. But that's what these are. And we got our hose reels just mounted with most of everything that it may have came with from the beginning. This is our feeder hose, which is uh, retractable. You know, I wanted to get maybe something like a hundred foot, but then it just starts to get real bulky. So most of the time, if I back up into a house or just even off to the side, I can get away with this. And then this is where this comes to play. If I need to get into their backyard for whatever reason or something kind of funky, then I got more of that. Um, this is my three eights that I use for my rotary brush. Just a simple hook. 
from Home Depot. Okay. And then on the other side of that, this is just real quick. So, boom, I get my window cleaning belt. I grab my tray or my bucket holder, whatever you want to call it. And I'm off to the races. And that goes back right there. All right. I'll just go to this door real quick. Magnet, magnet holders or little hooks. This is for my dirty laundry. These are for my window cleaning rags and stuff like that. I just throw them in there. You know, if I can just put them in there and after the couple days I take it, I clean them. You know, they're not everywhere all over. That's what makes things chaotic for you. You're trying to get, you're starting to get angry because you can't find something when all you're getting angry about trying to find some rags or a brush, you know, so. That can be something that is really easy to do and it just keeps everything tight organized okay this is our tucker rival series three stage i just upgraded it to the four stage with the extra sediment tank got that wire to our pump down here that's all lined up in the back going to well the battery obviously of the vehicle i have right now however there's a battery right here we're going to tie into the system so that the pump can run strictly off that and still be charging within the, the alternator and everything of the van. So there's that. So And then going back to the cart, this was, you know, their basic cart. I, I was a welder fabricator. I'm not sure if I mentioned that at one point or whatever in this past clips, but that's why I kind of always just enjoy doing this kind of stuff. I'm going to kind of tear it apart and go from there i could have gotten a custom setup maybe save some money but i love tucker i love supporting certain companies or anything within different aspects but then i also like doing stuff like that at the same time so it is what it is let's come over here we got more magnet hooks that's for like my rain gutter got my gutter stick that's really like one of the most used tools that we'll have out there Got our shovel, that's for the resin and or cutter. So all stuff that's kind of, it's gonna be right where it needs to be. You know, if I'm changing the resin, boom, I got my shovel, I just go get my resin. And the gutter stick, that's kind of out of the way. You pull out the pole for that, boom, it's right there. There's my blower. Just getting creative and crafty with some threaded um, rod. Bend that around. Tighten it to your holes that are already here because look at these are all there's so many holes that I didn't do So you can use those That holds my blower all I did was on the same bracket That I crafted for the filter system. It's right here for The end of the blower so that's just kind of off to the side and that's where you just get crafty creative again and do these types of things that will save you space and it's just easy and accessible so i just go around the other side of the door once we get there i'll show you pull that bad boy out if i need it i got that i think off of amazon or something just a trash bag holder so when we're doing bird proofing you know i'm trying to save space and it's something i use kind of you know i'm, I'm going to use often when doing bird proofing so it's easily accessible it's out of the way somewhat i might move it eventually but for now it's easy and it's a trash bag holder. That's it. Got it for what, maybe six, seven bucks, 10 bucks on Amazon and got it shipped. Keeps, and the one less thing that I gotta worry about holding space in for. My helmet, I really didn't get anything for that. I haven't done anything. That's probably actually, you know, one of the fresher things that I've had added to this. Um, so, but I love it right there. You know, I'm just gonna keep that. Kind of locked and loaded. Hangs right there, doesn't fall. Right here, got some eye hooks, some eye bolts. Got those twisted up into the frame. That holds my stool. I got a piece of aluminum angle over there. That keeps this together. Oh, here's another extra 100 feet. Guess what, I just kept the rod a little tighter to the left. And I have another 100 feet of 516 hose. So there's that. Let me try and jump in here. Because I did miss these. 
I, we checked these out, but we didn't look at these. So uh, I think these are at Home Depot as well, the Fast Tracks. And I cut them up. I messed all up. You know, I, I, I did all kinds of stuff to them to modify for me. So they start way down here. I got my rags for my window sides. I mean, cleaning them, drying them out, whatever. Got another one that I keep for like just track wipe downs and all that. I got my other cleaning uh, supplies, Tucker scrub pads, whatever scrub pads, walnut, um, squeezy rubber. This guy is pretty handy for when you're doing windows or anything. Uh, this is bronze wool. Up here, we have soap, deep cleaning stuff, a couple adapters. I used old Tupperware that I used uh, to keep, you know, O-rings, anything like that. Tape. There's the angle iron holding the stool. That's there. Going back to Home Depot product or stuff they offer. These are some hooks that you can have hold your brushes. You know, this was like three or four deep. So I have my boar's hair way back there for solar. I got a regular push, push, push broom head. I got my solar custom DIY head. That's right there. And then they're all in line. I got my squeegees and my mops and my window heads. All right. So here's a clear example of even something I switched around recently because I'm always changing these around in zip ties. That's perfect about them. Like I can bring them higher, left, right. You can always change them around, but these things are tight. They're not, they're not going nowhere. Um, but what I was going to mention is for the longest time, this cooler was over here to the right. And with my OCD driven stuff, I started just, just recently, a couple days ago, thought, well, I should have my soap and water bucket on the same side of my squeegees and my mops. Because for the longest time, the cooler was over there and I was kept, ha kept having to go onto this side of the door driver to get my mop bucket or my bucket and then come back over here and get this stuff. Time, efficiency, organization. That's what you're looking for, guys. That is the key. It's not even about being OCD, but look at how much time, I mean, that thought about doing that saves a couple seconds with that situation. So now all I did was I lifted these up a little bit and got the cooler under here. Now that bucket is over here with all my Windows product or tools. That's it, man. Back to pieces of aluminum angle this is just a couple inches of aluminum angle right there Ding. and that keeps either my vacuum in place my little portable vacuum it keeps a generator in place that i use for the rotary you know, it, it holds it'll keep anything from moving so that's what's good about just little things that i can add like that um i'm already in here so you know you're just gone Gone with the blower. Gone with the wind. All right. So the goal is to make it the way you want it, provide any means necessary, and to make it a efficient job, professional job, look good for everyone. It's easier for everyone. I still have some people that help me, and they're always putting it in the wrong places, and then they're struggling to find it. Just put it back. And each and every time, you're going to find booties right there. You're going to find clips right there. You know, I'll, I'll probably eventually label these. But for me, I don't. For myself. You know, a little glue, roof tile glue, whatever it might be. All adhesive glue. Um, what else? I think that might be it. As I hop out of this thing. You know, and I still got... Let's go to the right even though i think we got it all is uh you take this sign out and i still got a whole bed full of space i take this stuff out i still got a whole bed full of space